we are at episode number 7 of windows 365 master class in this episode we are going to learn about what is windows 365 boot using this feature multiple users can share a single shared physical device let me show you how to configure this let's begin first of all i want to let you know that at the time of recording this particular episode windows 365 boot is under public preview if there is going to be any change in terms of the configuration you don't have to worry i would definitely create a different video and i will attach to the series so you can check the latest one so let's go and create our first windows 365 boot configuration there are few requirements if you go into the microsoft documentation you can definitely check this documentation the second one talks about windows 365 physical device requirements so let's go and open that document so the shared device which we are going to use today has to be part of the windows insider program preview build another requirement is to have the device to be part of the autopilot group and then we need to add this physical group to the windows 365 group which we are going to use to configure this windows 365 boot scenario and it says that you have to wipe and reload the device to get the setting so we will find this out i'm going to figure this out while creating this episode so we'll both learn it together first let's go to the intune portal you can access your intune portal by going into endpoint.microsoft.com within that let's create a group first so that group is going to be used for this boot scenario i'm going to create a new group I'm going to retain the group type as security. Give a name for your group. I'm going to call this group as Windows 365 Boot Physical Devices. I'm going to use the same name for description as well. I don't need Azure AD roles to be assigned. I'm not going to do anything. Membership type as assigned. Click on create. Now let's go and find the group. Let's do a quick refresh before. Let's search for Windows 365. Yeah, the group we created is Windows 365 Boot Physical Devices. Select that group. Let's add a member to the group. I'm going to click on Add, and I'm going to add a device instead of users. So click on Devices. Check for all the devices you have at the moment. I do have couple of physical laptops assigned to this Microsoft Intune, so I'm going to pick one of these devices. Which one I should pick? Um, I'm going to pick. the surface go to so this is a surface go to device which is an on prem physical device select that click select and hit refresh all right so now the device is part of the windows 365 boot physical devices group now let's go back to the intune portal this time click on devices under devices click on cloud pc creation and scroll down in the home page itself If you scroll down, you would see. Oh, I think that's that's the one. So click on Windows 365 Boot here. All right. So it says that what is Windows 365? Who is this configuration used for? And this guided scenario will help us provision the policies which is necessary for this Windows 365 Boot. Because this is a preview feature, it says that not. all the features are restricted for the end users at the moment so we will find out what are those features i'm going to click next all right so the first is it is asking for autopilot device name template if you already have another template you can select that and you can provide that template here so if you scroll down the name what you provide here will be added to all the resources to be created so you can see that there is uh these are the resources which is going to be created uh, along with this particular configuration policy so if i change the name to boot 1 2 3 you can see that the name is changing all right so i'm going to quickly delete it we don't need that i'm just going to retain windows 365 boot so let's look at the resources which are going to create it is going to create a windows 365 app and azure virtual desktop host app an enrollment status page profile autopilot profile device configuration profile and a shared pc device configuration profile so we will go and look into all of that click next here 
you are providing the details for your update profile. So I'm not going to make any changes to the update settings. It basically talks about when a user can defer any update, the user experience settings. Let me quickly reduce the size so you can see the other settings. Basically, it talks about the user experience settings, the deadline settings, the deferral settings, etc. So I'm going to leave all of these settings default. Click next. If you have VPN profile and uh, Wi-Fi profile within your Microsoft Intune, you can select those. Select the language. I'm going to pick English. Pick the preferred language and click next. This is where you're going to assign this policy to. So either you can assign by creating a new group. We already created a group. If you, if you have not created a group, all you have to do is give a name. I'm going to choose an existing group. Click on add group, search for Windows 365 and select the group we created, which is Windows 365 boot physical devices and click select and click next review. Okay. Towards the end of the page, you can see all the resources which is created as part of this provisioning. If you want to go and read about what is Windows 365 app, what this host app does, the enrollment page, autopilot profile, you can you can go and click on these docs and read about it. I'm going to click on save. And now looks like the deployment is in progress. So on the right hand side, you can see that it is created these policies. It is assigning and it is assigned. So looks like the deployment is succeeded. That was pretty fast. Now we are logging into a physical PC. This is what I'm going to use it for as a shared device. First, I'm going to log into the PC and check if the updates are installed. Um, if not, I'm going to install all the updates. So there are a few updates. I'm going to quickly restart the cloud PC and install it. And after that, let's go back to your system. This time go to Windows Update. What we are going to do is we are going to enroll ourselves into the insider program. That is another prerequisite for it. So click on insider program. And this is where you will have all the details about how to sign in, what channel. Um, there are different, different channels, what channel you want to be part of, things like that. So looks like I'm not able to uh, join the program because my diagnostics was disabled. So let's quickly go and enable the diagnostics. So I'm going to quickly close it. Now let's relaunch the app to see if we are able to sign up one more time. Go back to your Windows update and uh, go to Windows Insider program. Expand. And let's see if this time it allows us to sign up for the program. Yes. So all you have to do is click on get started to join the program. So you can use your existing account itself rather than providing a new account. So if you do happen to have another Microsoft account which you use for Insider program, you can use it. I'm going to continue with the existing account. And this is going to quickly go through the process of linking our account into the Windows Update program and make sure you go and read the agreement and click on um, continue. These are the channels which I mentioned like the Canary, Dev, Beta and Release uh, Preview. So for this boot to work, we have to pick the Dev channel. So click on Dev channel and click on continue. Read the details about the insider program and click on continue. One thing you need to understand about the dev channel is uh, this is not a production version. Uh, this is not a stable version as well. So make sure you understand that and click on continue. And after that, you have an option to restart the machine immediately or restart it later. So let's go and restart it now. After the restart, after probably about 10 to 15 minutes, you will start seeing the packages which is required for Windows Insider downloaded in your PC and it start installing as well. Once you finish installing all the, I mean like the both the updates which is part of the dev channel, you can actually go ahead and restart your computer. So this restart is what is going to make the boot PC ready for us to start using for Windows 365. I'm going to quickly restart the PC. Let's see which user we can use to sign in to the boot cloud PC. 
I'm going to go to all devices, sorry, cloud PC creation, click on all cloud PCs. I just want to find out which all users we have assigned this cloud PC to. So we have cloud PC for Mackey, Chirashi and on-prem users. So let's sign in with this user first, Mackey at agtclab.com. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to log in to the physical PC what we've been using. I'm just recording from outside. Uh, the PC has been rebooted and now looks like I can't access the local PC. So when when on the login page here, this is where you have to provide the details of the cloud PC user. So we're going to use the user called Mackey right now. As long as you have the boot to cloud uh, boot to cloud PC enabled on a physical shared device, you can use any uh, user as long as that user have the right Windows 365 license assigned. All right, so now you can see that instead of logging in to the local PC, it says that it's connecting to cloud PC. Looks like it is asking me for a passport password one more time. I'm going to quickly provide the password. I don't know whether this is the default behavior or not. I'm sure once this feature comes out of the public preview, it, these sort of issues will be ironed out. All right, so now I straight away logged in to my cloud PC. So I'm using my physical PC, which is a Surface Go 2 device, and I'm using that to connect to the cloud PC directly. So from this point onwards, you can click on the user account and you can lock or sign out. When you sign out, you get back into your login screen. So the first way is to go to your each physical PC and enroll to inside a program, just like how we did on the other Surface Go, uh, Go 2 and subscribe for the dev channel. That is one way you manually do it. What if, if you have multiple PCs in your organization? then you need to have an easier mechanism, right? So you can use Intune to do that for you. So within Intune, uh, this is again an optional step if you wanna do it for multiple PCs at once. Go to devices, click on all devices. You can see all devices here. So under manage devices, click on Windows 10 and later updates. This is where you can see your different update rings and things like that. So there is one created for Windows 365 boot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new profile. Just give a name. I'm going to call it as Insider Build Dev Channel. Click Next and go through these settings. So these settings are not these settings are not that important. So I'm going to provide some basic values. The important step is enable pre-release build. So I'm going to enable this. And under the pre-release build, I'm going to select the dev channel. So this is the important step. Under the automatic update behavior, to make it even faster install, all you have to do is select auto install and reboot without user control. So that will make it even faster. And click next. Under assignments, you can assign to the group. So I'm going to basically use the group we created. And this is the group I have all the devices, which is which I'm going to use it for Windows 365 boot shared PC. Click select and click next and create. So this is completely an optional step. If you don't want to manually install these updates on the physical PCs, you can deploy these to your shared devices this way. So now you have seen how you can configure your physical device either using Microsoft Intune or going into the physical PC manually and you can subscribe to the dev channel the next thing what i would like to show you is you can use the same shared pc and you can log in with as many cloud pc users as you can one thing you need to understand about cloud boot to cloud is it's going to help you with the shared pc scenario you as a um, shift worker use a shared PC and after your shift work, you can hand over that PC to another user and that user can pick up the same device somebody else was using, use their username and password to sign in to uh, the, their own cloud PC and you can use it as well. So rather than having multiple 
PCs. Boot to cloud allows shared PC scenarios. Multiple shift workers can sign into your shared device using different cloud PC accounts. I hope you have learned how to configure Windows 365 Boot. I will see you on the next episode. Take care.